governor calls for a federal investigation into police in Jackson, Mississippi, over the discovery of a mass grave behind a prison labor camp. Hundreds of bodies, possibly more than 670, were buried there, with numbers affixed to metal rods marking each gravesite. Their names, unknown, to the public at least. Their causes of death, also unknown. It's not uncommon for municipalities to maintain graves for unidentified or unclaimed bodies. But in this case, hundreds of people were buried there who the police were able to identify, but for some strange reason, never informed their families, even while their families were out looking for them. This all started to unravel back in March last year when the mother of 37-year-old Dexter Wade filed a missing persons report with the police for her son. Now, it wasn't until October that police finally told her the truth that Dexter was hit and killed by a police car and that his body was just dumped behind the prison with the other bodies. Even though he had his ID in his pocket and his mother spent months contacting the police for leads on her missing son. NBC News would later learn just how many families have loved ones buried in that mass grave that police never informed them about. Over 200. People like 39-year-old Jonathan Hankins, who was found dead of a suspected drug overdose in a motel room in May 2022. His mother reported him missing two months later. Friends and family spent months searching. It took until December last year, more than 18 months after Jonathan went missing, for his family to finally learn what happened to him. And they weren't notified by the police. They were notified by NBC News, which reported, quote, his body was taken to the Hines County morgue where four days later he was identified through fingerprints as Jonathan David Hankins. Coroner's investigator said he forwarded the information to a Jackson detective for notification of the man's next of kin. The Jackson police spokesperson said the department never received this information. There is no indication in the documents of what efforts, if any, the coroner's office or the Jackson Police Department made to contact Jonathan's family. On August 26, 2022, the coroner's office asked the Hines County Board of Supervisors for permission to bury Jonathan's body in a pauper's field at the county penal farm. The board approved the request nearly two weeks later. Look, we all know cops are lazy as shit. But this, this is something far more nefarious, which is why lawyers representing families who weren't notified, like civil rights attorney Benjamin Crump, want the feds to investigate exactly what's going on. And to make it worse, now that the spotlight is on this and the police are notifying families finally, the state is also charging those families hundreds of dollars to retrieve the remains for a proper burial. There's something rotten in Jackson, all right. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you want to see Means Morning News in its complete form, not just the clips we post here, head on over to Means TV and get access to all our new episodes and our entire backlog, plus tons of other great movies and original TV shows.